I seriously almost threw away my computer the other day just because of this failing drive. Don't let it happen to you. Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about failing SSD drives. I wanted to ask pretty much if anybody has ever come across where their computer tries to boot, but it won't get past BIOS. It won't upload Windows, Windows 10, whichever Windows you have. And if anything is stuck in a constant loop or your drive just fails uh, randomly during your projects or internet surfing. So I'm just going to tell you, you might have corrupted Windows on your drive or your drive is failing itself. So pretty much there's a lot of signs for SSD failing. Your machine won't boot up. Like I said, you restart it, you do what you can, but it won't get to the Windows open. And it tries and tries and tries, but it will never get to the Windows login page. That's one of them. Two, I would say if it's excessively slow, trying to either upload if you do get past Windows and any of your programs or any of your apps, um, opening and just f either failing immediately or starting up so slow or either not responding and you have to exit out. Sometimes it'll freeze your system all the way around too. So you have to either hard reset your computer or just give it about 10 minutes before it actually closes out on yourself. But most of us just turn our computer off. Or number three, your drive only is labeled as read only. Pretty much you can't do anything with it. There's always a solution of going into your command prompt and doing the check disk option. But if you show up with no bad file records, then that's not necessarily the problem or it won't solve your problem that way either. So a little bit of backstory why I'm here today. I had a old version of Windows, Windows 7, that I bought off a desktop. Now, this was before I even started building my computer. I thought to myself, well, I wanted to stream. So I wanted to buy a computer to use my Elgato capture software and my Elgato S Plus to try to capture my games in either streaming or just video recording. Now I bought an old one with Windows 7 on it. It had an old key on it. And then later on, I wanted to build my own computer. I was lucky enough to have a good friend that had a lot of hand-me-down parts. So most of my system came from him. I think I just had to buy a power supply and an SSD card for extra capacity. So I started up the new computer and I used the old version of Windows 7 key that I had on my old Dell that I bought from somebody. For some reason it worked and it upgraded to me to Windows 10. Don't ask why, I don't remember. At the time I didn't know anything about computers until now and even then I'm still learning every day. But I started noticing problems with either my login or just my computer trying to stay on. I thought it was a hardware issue because like I said, I had a lot of hand-me-down parts. So one by one, I started upgrading everything from my CPU to my motherboard to my graphics card, even my AIO cooler. And even with everything new out the box, I was still developing problems left and right. So my friend told me to check my corrupted files on my uh, command prompt. So of course I did the uh, SFC scan now, nothing was even there or even remotely showed up. And it came down to the nitty gritty of, it's gotta be something again with my hardware. And the only thing that I remembered was I kept the same drive from my first build into my new one. So I re-downloaded Windows and I did it about two or three times. And even then, after running smoothly for even a couple days, it would start corrupting again. Hard resets, hard reboots. So many times they tried to post Windows, you know, get past BIOS. It could never get there. So I went to my SSD. I thought that it was probably malfunctioning or something. First, I checked that my SATA cable was connected. Of course it was, because it was reading Windows. Two, I replaced the SATA cable to try to see if that was it, or if it was just a bad read. That didn't do anything. So what I did next time, I thought for the hard drive, I might as well just reinstall Windows on another hard drive and just keep my files, keep all my files without deleting everything off of it. So I downloaded Windows into a new drive, and then I found out that I, since I kept my files, my old Windows was still on my old drive. So every time I try to boot up, there was two partitions that it would try to ask me to boot from, you know, um, same, same windows, windows 10, but it was asking me every time, Hey, would you rather have it from partition five or partition 11? I tried to delete everything off the original SSD, but it would not let me, uh, delete windows. And it was so bad. It started shutting down on itself again. So I got to a point where I had to literally wipe everything again everything off my SSDs, everything off my HDD, and just restart new. So I booted back Windows, I re-downloaded it on the newer SSD. Everything was deleted off of everything. 
and I booted on my computer and everything was working smoothly. It took so long just to get into the Windows page, even if I did reach it, it would be anywhere from 45 seconds to about two minutes. And I didn't understand because I wiped everything off, I downloaded Windows onto a new SSD and restarted fresh again for the 10th time. So I started realizing that old SSDs can still have some memory from the past, even if you do wipe everything. So I was thinking maybe it still had fragments of the corrupted Windows file on it. So what I did is I just unplugged it. I took it out of my computer and I booted up Windows on the regular SSD, the newer one that I had. It took a couple tries to turn it off and on, but to kind of reset itself. But after that, everything starts running smoothly. I can tell you there's not one time I remember my computer booting up so quickly. Like as soon as, soon as BIOS comes off the screen and you see that little loading circle in the middle, you saw it for half a second and then bam, Windows. And I logged in and ever since then I haven't had any problems. To think that I had an original SSD and it gave me that many problems to the point where it was shutting down my system even with wiping everything down is crazy to me. And I went through so many problems and I went through so many solutions with it. So at the end of the day, just check your SSDs. I understand that sometimes you can do, you know, a check on it or you can scan it and sometimes it won't show up, but itself on the inside is probably pretty fucked up. Now, what you can do is either get rid of it or defrag it. Now, defragging is not really good for your SSD. I feel like if anything, it's gonna make it worse if it's already corrupted. I wouldn't recommend it if anything, but what I would recommend to you, back all your files up. Do it frequently. You don't have to do it every day, but at least do it for the important files. You don't wanna wake up one day, turn on your computer and see that you can't even post your bios or even get past windows and you lose everything your wedding photos your videos maybe you're an author you're writing a book and everything's completely gone so what i recommend is get yourself a drive that is as big as your drive that you get all your main files on if it's a one terabyte get another one terabyte and use that as a backup you can go into your settings and windows and then make a backup file so that way it will back up for you everything that you have so far and you will have an extra drive for yourself that's external that way you can keep it around. It's not a part of your computer. It can't necessarily get corrupted like the other ones if they're mainly used, if it's mainly used just to, you know, back everything up. And always make sure that you unplug it after you're done using your computer. Of course, there's also online options like OneDrive to pretty much upload it to the internet or the cloud, if you will. Um, that's really up to you. I really don't trust those things because I feel like sometimes they're a little spotty as to what they save. It's also a subscription fee, so, you know, in the long run, you should just get a drive and just pay all out. That way you are certain that you have something physical, something that it's in your hands where you can access it instead of something that's relied on a service that's online. Like I said in previous videos, I'm still a new beginner as far as building PCs, anything that, as far as components, hardware, software, um, internal, external, I'm learning just as much as you are, but I wanted to give this message out to you guys just to give you a heads up to don't don't stop trying. And maybe at the end of the day, it's just your SSD drive failing. Usually it doesn't happen. It's sometimes kind of rare unless you're doing some very sketchy stuff. Um, I don't know what you do. I'm not judging, but you know, that's why we're here today. But don't get discouraged. Um, there's always a solution to every problem. But I hope this video has helped. Um, if anything, try to like, subscribe, show a little bit of love. I'll keep making videos as I find things out. I've had a couple problems in the past too, so I'm probably gonna make videos about that and just share my experience with you guys to let you know that you're not alone. But either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.